King Robert Baratheon, ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, was commonly known to have fathered three children with his queen Cersei Lannister, naming them Joffrey, Myrcella, and Tommen Baratheon. These children inherited their father's lands and titles, with Joffrey Baratheon becoming king of the realm, and Tommen, his younger brother, becoming heir. However, after Joffrey's ascension to the throne, their claim came under dispute, with Jon Arryn, Stannis Baratheon, and later Eddard Stark having discovered a harsh truth. They learned that all three children were sired by Queen Cersei and her brother, Jaime Lannister, making them bastard-born children of incest, with no legitimate claim to the throne. This dispute prompted the War of the Five Kings, which tore the continent apart, killing thousands. And while this discovery meant Robert left no legitimate heirs, his bloodline may have a chance to continue through the many illegitimate children he fathered throughout his life. Although it is not certain how many of the king's bastards existed, the prophecy of Maggie the Frog claimed he would have 16, yet only 7 are currently known though Varys the Spider claims to know the identity of eight. After the king's death, his wife Cersei Lannister ordered that all of Robert's bastards be killed, and while a few survived long enough for Tyrion Lannister to rescind the order, many died. Of the known illegitimate children of Robert Baratheon, there is Maya Stone, the girl he fathered in his youth as a ward of Jon Arryn in the Vale. Robert was believed to have affection for the girl, possibly even suggesting she might come to the Baratheon court in King's Landing, though Cersei Lannister saw that it did not occur. Maya would become a guide for travelers headed to the Eyrie and has fond memories of her father from childhood. She would also become a friend to Elaine Stone, secretly Sansa Stark during her time posing as the bastard daughter of Peter Baelish. Another of Robert's daughters would be a girl named Bella, conceived and raised in a brothel in Stony Sept, believed to have been sired while Robert was hiding from Targaryen forces during his rebellion. More of his children could be found in the Westerlands, where a serving woman of Casterly Rock would give birth to twins. However, given their location, they became easy targets for Cersei Lannister, who had them killed. Robert's youngest child was born to a King's Landing prostitute who named the girl Bara, but the girl and her mother Megan would be killed during the Queen's Purge. Then there is Gendry, a boy born to a woman working in an alehouse of King's Landing, who died early on in his life. Yet despite his meager beginnings and lack of resources, he became apprentice to a master blacksmith named Tobo Mott. After a mysterious nobleman some have come to speculate was Varys the Spider paid double the usual fee for his acceptance. Gendry would prove a talented smith, eventually developing the skill to craft a greatly prized bull's head helmet. Hand of the King Eddard Stark would meet with the boy during his investigation into the death of Jon Arryn, and his strong resemblance to Robert helped in convincing him that Stannis and Jon Arryn had discovered the illegitimacy of Robert's heirs. When Cersei ordered the execution of Robert's children, Varys the Spider arranged for Gendry to be taken out of the city by Yorin of the Night's Watch. Gendry would befriend young Arya Stark, who was also traveling with the Night's Watch recruits, and remained with her after Yorin was killed until they were found by the Brotherhood Without Banners. Gendry was inspired by their mission and joined them, assigned as a smith to the Crossroads Inn, where he was also tasked to care for a group of orphans. Finally, there is Edric Storm, the only illegitimate child of Robert Baratheon that was officially acknowledged. Born to Lady Delena Florent, he was raised in Storm's End under the protection of Sir Courtenay Penrose. Although Robert ruled from King's Landing, he visited Edric nearly every year, spending time with the boy, teaching him to fight, and even gifting him a warhammer. After Robert's death, Stannis took charge of the boy following his capture of Storm's End, and planned to use the boy's resemblance to his father as a way of proving the illegitimacy of Robert's heirs. Yet the Red Priestess Melisandre, an advisor to Stannis, had more sinister plans, wanting to sacrifice the boy to R'hllor so his king's blood might wake stone dragons. And while Stannis refused to allow it, she did use leeches to drain some of the boy's blood, then burning them in a magical ritual to curse the false kings Joffrey Baratheon, Robb Stark, and Balon Greyjoy. Fearing the Red Woman would eventually do great harm to Edric Storm, Davos Seaworth arranged for his escape, sending him to the city of Lys. A special thanks to all those who have contributed to Civilization X. You make these videos possible, and I am eternally grateful for your support. If you would like to help Civilization X and want to say in the future content of this channel, click on the Patreon link in the description box below and pledge any amount you'd like on a monthly basis. Or if you'd prefer to make a single donation, you can use the PayPal link also in the description below. And please be sure to like and subscribe and click on the links to see more.